Hello explorers. Welcome to the radiant heart of the American Southwest, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, the vibrant capital and largest city of Arizona, ranks as the fifth largest city in the United States. Situated in the northeastern reaches of the Sonoran Desert, Phoenix is framed by picturesque mountains and verdant desert scenery. This thriving metropolis merges the Old West charm with a modern cosmopolitan flair, creating a unique ambience that is entirely its own. Climate Phoenix is renowned for its incredibly sunny weather. The city experiences a hot desert climate, with about 300 sunny days a year. Summer temperatures frequently exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees Celsius, while winters are mild, generally in the mid-60s to low 70s, about 20 degrees Celsius. Despite the heat, the low humidity levels make it more comfortable than you might expect. History The region where Phoenix stands was first inhabited by the Hohokam people around 2,000 years ago. The Hohokam were renowned for their advanced irrigation techniques. They constructed a network of canals, transforming the desert into fertile agricultural land. The canals extended over 135 miles and allowed the Hohokam to cultivate crops such as corn, beans, squash, and cotton. Their community thrived in the region for over a thousand years, but mysteriously disappeared around the 15th century, leaving behind a wealth of archaeological treasures. Their disappearance remains a puzzle, with theories suggesting a combination of prolonged drought and severe flooding. Around the time of the Hohokam's disappearance, other Native American groups, like the Atum and the Sobipuri, began settling in the region. They continued the agricultural tradition of their predecessors. European explorers likely traversed the Phoenix region in the 16th century, while Spanish explorers established a mission in Tucson, no settlements were founded in the Phoenix area. Following the Mexican-American War in 1848, a substantial part of northern Mexico, including present-day Phoenix, came under U.S. control. This region was made part of the New Mexico Territory shortly afterward. The Gadsden Purchase in 1853 stipulated that the U.S. would respect all land rights in the area, including those of the Autumn Tribe, who thereby gained full constitutional rights. The territory encompassing the Salt and Gila River Valleys, which includes modern-day Phoenix, was claimed by both sides during the American Civil War. Confederate Arizona was officially recognized by the South, with the North claiming the Salt River Valley as part of the Arizona Territory, established by Congress in 1863. Fort McDowell was set up by the U.S. Army in 1865 to support the North's possession of the territory. The first settlement in what is now Maricopa County, the mining community of Wickenburg, was established in 1863. However the true founding of Phoenix began with Jack Swilling, a Confederate veteran, in 1867. Recognizing the agricultural potential of the Salt River Valley during a visit to Fort McDowell, he established the Swilling Irrigating and Canal Company to develop irrigation canals and stimulate farming in the region. This endeavor revitalized the ancient Hohokam canals, marking the start of modern irrigation in the Valley of the Sun. The growing community required a name, and Phoenix was suggested, symbolizing the birth of a city from the ruins of an ancient civilization, akin to the mythical bird rising from its ashes. The Yavapai County Board of Supervisors officially recognized Phoenix as a town on May 4, 1868. In the 1940s, Phoenix's economy shifted dramatically from a primary reliance on cotton, citrus, and cattle to a distribution center. Rapid industrialization took hold, with mass production of military supplies taking center stage during World War II. This shift in the economy, alongside the presence of Air Force bases like Luke Field, Williams Field, and Falcon Field, brought a significant influx of new residents to Phoenix. The invention of mechanical air conditioning in the 1950s spurred the city's population growth by making the harsh desert climate more tolerable. After World War II, many military personnel who had trained at Arizona bases returned with their families, attracted by the city's appealing climate and burgeoning job market. Throughout the latter half of the 20th century, the city diversified into sectors like manufacturing, finance, healthcare, and retail. Furthermore, the technology and real estate sectors also started to thrive. Politically, Phoenix has seen notable evolution. The 1960s were a period of significant civil rights activity, with Phoenix serving as a crucial battleground, particularly in the efforts to recognize Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a state holiday. Despite being a city where African American and Mexican American communities were largely sequestered on the town's south side, Phoenix saw gradual progressive change. This change is reflected in its diverse leadership today. If you find this video interesting and would like to join us as we explore cities around the world, please press like and make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Geography, Architecture, and Landscape 
Phoenix is in the northeastern reaches of the Sonoran Desert and has a classic desert landscape. The Salt River flows through the city, adding a touch of greenery to otherwise arid surroundings. The city is remarkably flat, allowing for expansive views of the surrounding mountains. South Mountain Park, Camelback Mountain, and the Piestawa Peak are distinctive landmarks. The architecture of Phoenix is a blend of various styles, influenced by its Native American roots, Mexican heritage, and Western frontier spirit. From Spanish colonial revival to Pueblo revival, and the modernist designs of the mid-20th century, the cityscape tells a story of Phoenix's diverse past and progressive future. Attractions The Heard Museum is a must-visit for those interested in Native American history and culture. Established in 1929, the museum houses an extensive collection of historic and contemporary art, artifacts, and educational exhibits about the indigenous tribes of the Southwest. It's particularly renowned for its comprehensive collection of American Indian baskets and kachina dolls. The Desert Botanical Garden, spanning 140 acres, is a tribute to the unique flora of the Sonoran Desert. It's home to more than 50,000 plants displayed in stunning outdoor exhibits. The garden is not just a place of beauty, it's a center for education, research, and conservation. It offers a unique opportunity to appreciate the desert's charm, especially during spring when the wildflowers are in bloom. If you're a fan of architecture, don't miss a visit to Taliesin West in Scottsdale. This landmark is the former winter home and school of world-renowned architect Frank Lloyd Wright. His innovative designs harmoniously blending with the desert environment remain an inspiration to modern architects. Guided tours of the property offer deep insights into Wright's philosophy and work. For music lovers, the Musical Instrument Museum is an indispensable stop. Boasting a collection of over 15,000 instruments from around 200 countries, it offers a unique sonic journey through global cultures. Interactive exhibits allow visitors to hear, see, and even play instruments, making it a truly immersive experience. Unusual Attractions Phoenix is also home to some quirky and unusual attractions that add an eccentric charm to the city. The Mystery Castle, located in the city's foothills, is one such place. Built by Boyce Luther Gully for his daughter, the castle was constructed from an array of odd materials including recycled automobile parts, telephone poles, and even railroad tracks. Gully never disclosed his architectural plans, hence the name. Another offbeat attraction is the Hall of Flame Museum of Firefighting, boasting one of the largest collections of firefighting equipment in the world. Here, you can see vintage fire engines dating back to the 18th century, learn about fire safety, and even try on firefighter gear. The museum is dedicated to honoring the heroism and dedication of firefighters and educating the public about fire safety. The Wrigley Mansion offers a unique combination of history and architecture. Built by chewing gum magnate William Wrigley Jr., the mansion now operates as a fine dining venue offering panoramic views of the Phoenix skyline and mountains. Parks and Recreation Phoenix's park system is one of its greatest treasures. South Mountain Park, one of the world's largest city parks, offers stunning desert landscapes, perfect for hiking, mountain biking, or horseback riding. Camelback Mountain is another favorite, with challenging trails leading to breathtaking city views from its peak. For a less strenuous but equally rewarding climb, Piestawa Peak has well-marked paths that cater to all fitness levels. Finally, Papago Park, renowned for its sandstone buttes and the Hole in the Rock landmark, is a hub of outdoor activities, hosting a zoo, botanical garden, and golf course within its expanse. Education and College Sports the Phoenix area is home to several renowned educational institutions, with Arizona State University leading the pack. Other important institutions include Grand Canyon University, a private Christian university, and the University of Phoenix, one of the largest online universities. College sports are a significant part of Phoenix's culture, largely dominated by ASU's Sun Devils. The Sun Devils participate in the Pac-12 conference with strong teams in football, basketball, and baseball. Their football games at the Sun Devil Stadium and basketball matches at the Desert Financial Arena are exhilarating events. Professional Sport Phoenix is one of the few U.S. cities with franchises in all four major professional sports leagues. The Phoenix Suns of the NBA play their home games at the Footprint Center. The Arizona Diamondbacks, MLB's 2001 World Series champions, play at the Chase Field which features a retractable roof, a necessity for Phoenix's summer heat. In the NFL, the Arizona Cardinals, the oldest continuously run professional football team in the U.S., play at the State Farm Stadium in suburban Glendale. The city also hosts the troubled Arizona Coyotes of the NHL who currently play at the 4,600-seat Mullet Arena. Phoenix is also a significant location for auto racing events, with the Phoenix Raceway in Avondale hosting annual NASCAR races. 
Getting to Phoenix Phoenix Sky Harbor International is a major airport, serving as a hub for American Airlines and a focus city for Southwest and Frontier. It's just a few miles east of downtown and is connected to the light rail system via the PHX Sky Train, making it convenient for visitors. For a more scenic journey, Amtrak Sunset Limited and Texas Eagle Route stop in Maricopa, just south of Phoenix. These lines service routes from Los Angeles to New Orleans and Chicago. Excursions Phoenix is an excellent base for excursions that allow you to explore the beauty of Arizona. The Grand Canyon is a natural wonder and a must-see for any Arizona visitor. Just a three-and-a-half-hour drive from Phoenix, the South Rim offers breathtaking views of the canyon's vast expanses and the Colorado River below. Plan to hike along the rim, take a helicopter tour, or even venture down into the canyon. The enchanting red rock formations of Sedona are a sight to behold. Approximately two hours north of Phoenix, Sedona is a haven for hikers, photographers, and spiritual seekers. Be sure to check out the Chapel of the Holy Cross built into the buttes and experience the mystic power of the town's vortexes. Step back in time in Tombstone, the town too tough to die. This historic town, a three-hour drive from Phoenix, offers a taste of the Wild West. Visit the OK Corral, Allen Street, and don't miss the Boot Hill Graveyard. For a longer day trip, head to these two stunning locations near Page, Arizona. Antelope Canyon, a surreal slot canyon sculpted by water, and Horseshoe Bend, a dramatic curve in the Colorado River, are both iconic Arizona sites. Summary As our journey through Phoenix comes to an end, it's clear this desert metropolis has so much more to offer than first meets the eye. From its rich Native American history and Spanish colonial influence to its rugged nature, interesting museums, and thriving sports scene. Whether you're a nature lover, history buff, or sports fan, Phoenix has something just for you. Thank you for watching our tour of Phoenix. I hope that you found it informative and enjoyable. If you have any additional information or corrections to share about the city, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. Keep exploring!